today on What's New LSU, a Baton Rouge restaurant is cooking up some good feels in the community. And the theme of positivity and community involvement continues into the weekend. We've got all this and more, and it all starts right now. Hey there, Tigers. I'm Taylor Tyser. Thanks for joining us today. So here's the latest in LSU news. The Next Step campaign ticket will appear in University Court 9.30 tonight after a student filed a complaint against the ticket for posting signs in Tigerland outside of Bogies and Fred's bars. Tune into Tiger TV for latest news on student government. Tonight, guests will spend an evening with a Holocaust survivor and author, Eva Kaur. Kaur survived Auschwitz and the Mangella twin experiment, and now she travels the world advocating forgiveness. Kaur will share her story of forgiveness and the healing at Pennington Biomedical Center at 7 o'clock. But if you're not able to attend, the event will also be streamed live on YouTube at www.youtube.com LSU. If you've heard of Cafe Reconcile, it's time you hear about Triumph Kitchen. Reporter Courtney Young tells us how the kitchen is serving up success for at-risk youth in Baton Rouge. Triumph Kitchen serves more than your ordinary coffee shop. Student intern Patricia Gullen, a senior at Mentorship Academy, says future employers will look for the skills she's learning here at Triumph. While working in the business, you want somebody to be able to trust you while you're working. You can end up being in a situation where somebody could accuse you of stealing money and... If that happens, they're not going to be able to trust you. Every week, students learn one of the core values in the name Triumph that could help set them up for future career paths, says founder Chris Wadsworth. T is uh, for trustworthy, R is for respect, I is for integrity, U is united, M is for motivated, P is for persevering, and H is for honesty. This week, guest speaker Ashley Barbier told students how she uses integrity not only in pageants, but in everyday life you know, have high moral standards to, at the same time, be yourself. And I think it's important to share that with everyone because that applies to everything in life. It doesn't just apply to pageants. Co-founder and life coach Summer Wadsworth, or Mama Triumph, says all of the interns are considered family. Someone that was present at the event was like, oh, how many children do you have? And I was like, 14, because I have six of my own and eight in class, you know. And they were like, what? I was like, oh, wait, wait, no, of my own or... I was like, well, together I have 14. Students all agree that just after 12 days, this experience is helping them grow and develop into people they want to become. For Tiger TV, I'm Courtney Young. After completing the 12-week program, students can use their skills for local hospitality businesses. Well, this week in Ask Jordan, Jordan Moshida answers a question from someone we all know and love. Thanks, Taylor. Great to have you up here. Tonight's question comes from none other than Tiger TV's very own Johnny Lombardi. He wants to know, Dear Jordan, what do you think of Johnny Lombardi? Johnny, I don't think of you. Just kidding. Johnny Lombardi is the type of guy who walks into a restaurant and calls the waitress toots because Johnny is Italian. Johnny Lombardi is the guy that prank calls Walmart claiming he left his baby inside. Johnny Lombardi is the guy that dresses up for Halloween and steals candy from small children. The candy is for the children, Johnny, not you, you 19-year-old man-child. Johnny Lombardi is the guy that asks people for donations to his very adult organizations and claims it's for the children. Johnny Lombardi is the guy who names his Wi-Fi hotspot NSA Surveillance Unit 6, because that really freaks people out. <laughs> and Johnny Lombardi is the guy that thinks he's too big to post his questions on Twitter like I asked him to and feels he is special enough only to ask me in person. I see what you did there, Johnny, and I respect it. Send all of your questions to Twitter with hashtag LSUTTV or LSU Ask Jordan. Or if you see me doing this, Just keep walking, guys. Just don't do anything. <laughs> I'm Jordan Mashita, and I'm not always right, but when I am, it's usually all the time. <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. Well, that Johnny kid sounds like a very special kind of guy. I'm crying again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn it over to forecaster Christian Bennett for a look at today's weather. Thursday was the first day of spring. It was a lovely day, and I'm looking forward to many beautiful days to come. 
Tonight, we'll see temperatures averaging around 48 degrees with wind speeds at 4 miles per hour. Today's Insta pick comes from Secondhand Rose. Rose says, happy first day of spring. Right back at you, Rose. Friday is going to be another warm day. I love it when we have nice weather on a Friday. It just starts the weekend off right. We'll see highs at 75 degrees with lows at 55 degrees tonight, Friday night. And we'll have wind speeds at 11 miles per hour. Coming up next, New Orleans Fashion Week is back, and I've got the inside scoop. Stay tuned. Welcome back to What's New LSU. I'm Lauren Graham here with your Fashion Frenzy Report. New Orleans Fashion Week started last Saturday, and designers from all over the state showed their fall collection in this spring's Fashion Week. I got to talk to LSU student Annie Etzel, who participated in the Emerging Designers Fashion Show. Check it out. Welcome to Fashion Frenzy. I'm here with Annie Etzel, the designer who showed tonight at New Orleans Fashion Week. So this is your first time at New Orleans Fashion yes, Week. It is. So how did it feel? It felt amazing, relieving. It was just an incredible process, like about four months of planning, and it all just happened. It was great. That's awesome. So what was the inspiration for your line? The inspiration behind my line was a muse I created in my head. It was of an empowered woman. She was feminine, fierce, but she wasn't limited. She's not one dimensional. She's a little bit of everything. So you could see that through my silhouettes, my fabrics, everything from formal cocktail wear to casual wear. Awesome. Yeah. So um, what made you want to incorporate the gold leaf foil into your design? Well, um, the whole collection had a bunch of gold accents. That was kind of my, my wow piece and the fact that I'm in love with gold yeah. too. Mm -hmm. And the gold leaf foil just brought it all together. And I love gold leaf foil. I even put some on myself earlier this week. <laughs> yeah, that was one of my favorite things about it. It just looked really well. It complemented um, the designs. So I know you go to LSU and you're graduating in May. So what are your plans for after college? Well, right now I'm writing a business and marketing plan. And I'm hoping to find investors and just people who can help me bring my collection and my passion to the next level. And I'd like to mass produce. I'd like to get my stuff in stores so people can wear it. And that's my plan so far, and spreading the word about my designs. So what advice do you have for someone who wants to pursue a fashion career, who's just starting out at LSU? Okay. Get involved. Get involved with Hemline at LSU. Any event or anything you can get your hands on, do it. More experience, more knowledge. Whether it be failure or success, you're learning something. So get involved as much as you can. Maybe too much. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much, Annie. Really enjoyed the show. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. For more everyday fashion tips throughout the week, be sure to follow Fashion Frenzy on Twitter at LSU Fashion. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching Fashion Frenzy. Back to you at the desk. All right, thanks, Lauren. Coming up, we'll fill you in on some events going on this weekend that are sure to brighten up the community. Stay with us. If you're looking to get more involved in the community, Go Big Baton Rouge is hosting a day packed full of service this Saturday. Go Big starts at 8 a.m. on the parade grounds. It's a one-day service event where members of the Baton Rouge community unite with LSU facilities, students, and staff for a huge day of service. Throughout the day, volunteers will assist the elderly, local homeowners, and elementary schools, along with other nonprofit organizations in the community. I have met a few of the homeowners and a few of the nonprofit organization contacts, and they're all really excited to have the volunteers come out. This is the second annual service day at LSU, and it has more than doubled in volunteers. If you haven't registered yet, volunteers can stop by the parade ground Saturday morning to become part of the event. This Saturday, Tigers Against Trafficking will host their annual 5K run on the parade grounds. Tigers Against Trafficking member Abigail Williams says participants will have a good time, but there's a much greater message being sent gift bags, there's music, and it's so fun, but then we're creating this buzz about people like human trafficking, it's real. We have people come out and talk about what's going on locally and how you can get involved and to con continue to keep telling and influencing people of what it is because that's how it, it'll be taken care of and that the injustice will come to life. Runners and walkers alike can register online. The run starts at 5 o'clock and all proceeds go toward local and international anti-human trafficking organizations to help end injustice. And with that, let's see what we can expect in weather next week. What's it looking like, Christian? This weekend, we're going to see temperatures staying mostly in the 70s. We're going to have great weather Saturday for Go Big LSU and Tigers Against Trafficking 5K Run. We'll have a 40% chance of showers Sunday. 
but that should clear up by the beginning of next week. That's your forecast LSU. Keep watching Tiger TV for your latest forecast and post your Instagram weather pictures with the hashtag TigerTVWeather. Well, that's all the time we have for today. You guys have a great evening, Tigers. We'll see you right back here next week.